uh, once we found out that news, it was kind of uh, we were prepared for it, cause ever since birthday two, our mother has been preparing us for the day of her arrest. You know, she keeps on telling us uh, before every rally that okay, maybe she's gonna, maybe I'm gonna get arrested, so don't worry about it too much. So yeah, we just packed up her medicine and went over to the police station. She would keep on telling us that yes, one day you know the government might actually decide to issue an arrest. So she, we were yeah we were uh, psychologically prepared for their an arrest, but not under the uh, uh, detainment under SOSMA. So I think that was a huge shock for the entire family. Yeah, because. Uh, this act, of course, isn't supposed to be used as a political tool, and it's quite surprising uh, to see it used like this. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of friends and family members have actually come out to support us in this time of need. So the it helps a lot. Yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, it helps a lot. Well, she. Uh, the important part for our parents was that we are not. Uh, overtly exposed to their line of work because they tried to prioritize our studies and they were afraid that uh, if they bring us to their uh, line of work it could uh, like jeopardize our studies a bit but even a bit because uh, the main the main uh, priority for our parents were our studies so they highly they thought very highly of uh, education about our Teen, our early teens, I believe, that we became fully aware. Uh, we knew that uh, what initially, when we were younger, uh, we sort of knew that they weren't working for like the uh, like a regular engineer and stuff like that, as uh, compared to our other friends at the time. But as we grew older, uh, we fully uh, understood that their line of work is a lot less conventional and. Realizing that we, uh, after realizing that we still uh, fully supported them, even though uh, even though our parents uh, prioritized like uh, like how their method was of uh, prioritizing education was to prioritize education, but not uh, to overly pressure their children. So uh, they would be happy if you did your best. So if, so even in our uh, career choices, she wouldn't want to pressure her children into uh, doing her line of work and she yeah she was quite lenient with uh, her children's life choices to be honest only close friends know about who we are and who our parents are and they're also quite lenient with her yeah. life choices yeah. they, they are very yeah. yeah they don't really pressure us we mainly keep our identity quite low profile in a sense that we don't want to get too much attention, we want to be treated also as normal people. Mm. I've been attending classes and trying to balance my life with uh, going more for press interviews and studying in that sense.